Next, our goal is to conduct a slide serum agglutination test, known as the Rose Bengal test. This test enables us to detect the presence of specific antibodies against bacteria belonging to the Brucelli genus in our test serum. To conduct this test, we will begin by taking a slide. Using a micro pipette, we will accurately dispense 30 microliters of our test serum. The next step involves thorough homogenization of the serum by repeatedly moving the micro pipette up and down. Once the homogenization is complete, we will carefully place a droplet of the homogenized serum onto the slide. Following this, we will deposit an equivalent volume of 30 microliters of our antigen, composed of inactivated Brucella bacteria stained with Rose Bengal dye. The name of this dye gives the technique its designation and assists us in observing the reaction, as we will delineate imminently. We place the drop next to the drop of serum and mix it with another serum drop. To begin, we will mix the provided solution with a micro pipette tip using circular motions. Our goal is to ensure that the solution remains contained within the slide, as demonstrated in the accompanying diagram. Afterward, the slide will be gently rotated for a total of four minutes to thoroughly mix the serum and antigen. We will then proceed to observe and analyze the reaction, looking specifically for the visible mutation, the formation of distinct pink lumps. If our test results show a positive sample, this mutation will be clearly discernible, which we can see clearly thanks to the dye I mentioned before. If the test sample is negative, we will see on the whole surface of the sample a homogeneous pink color without any formation of complexes or lumps.